Welcome to Getting to KOA, RV tips, tricks, and trade secrets for the RV traveler from Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. I have a product that I'm excited to talk about and install on the RV today. Let me ask you a question. When you travel in your RV, do you ever get frustrated by the weak phone signal you get? It happens to us all the time, and when your business depends on a strong signal when traveling by RV, it makes matters much worse. Today I have the solution to weak signals. The WeBoost Drive 4GX RV Cellular Signal Booster, designed specifically for RV owners. Let's get started. When you travel by RV, dropped calls and slow data are generally caused by one of three things. The distance you are from a cell tower, building materials used in your RV, obstructions from objects around you like trees. The solution is the WeBoost Drive 4GX RV. It's powerful, fast, and easy to use. It boosts the signal where you are at up to 32 times more powerful. The way it works is an outside antenna receives a signal and sends it to the Drive 4GX booster. The booster amplifies the signal up to 32 times and sends it to the inside antenna. The inside antenna broadcasts the amplified signal to all the devices in the RV. In the box you will find the Drive 4GX booster outside antenna, inside antenna, 20 feet of cable with a cable adapter, an AC-DC power supply, a hardwire power supply, cable mounts and ties, and a cable entry cover. Installation. The first step is to determine where you want the outside antenna located. The instructions recommend mounting it to the RV ladder so the entire antenna is above the roof line and clear of any metal obstructions. Note, this location must be within reach of the booster using the 20-foot coax cable provided. Our motorhome is 36 feet long, so mounting the antenna on the ladder won't work for our installation. I thought about buying a longer cable and running it from the back all the way up to the front, but when I ran that idea past the WeBoost technicians, they said if I wanted to get the maximum signal boost, I should not exceed the provided 20 feet of cable. I want the booster closer to the front of the RV, so my solution was to remove an antenna I installed several years ago that we no longer use on the roof and replace it with the WeBoost antenna. The instructions recommend drilling a one inch hole toward the top of the RV that will go to the desired location of the booster. Since I am using the old antenna location, I can route the cable through the existing hole in the roof directly from the cabinet where I want the booster located. Now I just need to connect the RG6 cable to the outside antenna and install the antenna on the roof. You can see here I have a cable entry plate cover so I can seal the cable and plate at the roof. The location for the booster is the cabinet above the driver's seat in the RV. The booster has a mounting bracket that can be used to mount it at the desired location. The booster needs to be located near a power source and where the 20 foot supplied RG6 cable can reach the booster. Next, fasten the smaller SMA connection to the outside antenna port on the booster. Connect the 13 foot RG58 cable to the inside antenna port on the booster. Route the cable where you want to receive the boosted signal. Connect the inside antenna to the cable. I resealed the cable and entry cover on the roof and the installation is complete. To measure the booster performance, I'm going to follow the instructions in the user manual. First, put the phone in field test mode and write the numbers down in the manual. You can see the signal strength, negative 100 decibels, translates into a fair signal. Next, power up the booster by connecting the power cable to the booster and plugging it into a 120 volt outlet. Now I can compare the results of the booster performance. You can see the signal boost went from negative 100 decibels to negative 68 decibels, which translates to an excellent signal. 
That's a pretty significant increase in signal boost. This wasn't a difficult installation, but if you're not comfortable installing the product on your RV, have the installation done by a reputable RV repair facility. Now, when you travel by RV and need a reliable signal, it's not a problem. For more information on the WeBoost Drive 4GX RV Signal Booster, visit www.weboost.com. Happy camping.